All right, you bunch of cheaters. I said we'd celebrate 100,000 subscribers by having an epic video week. And when I said that, I was calculating. I get around this many subscribers per day, so I'll have such and such amount of time to prepare the videos before I reach 100,000. Meanwhile, cheaters did this, skipping straight to 100,000. I was working on fact-checking Richard Dawkins Part 1, but that can wait because it's easy. Starting tomorrow, November 1st, we're going to get to some videos that I've been planning for years but never recorded because they're generally longer and more epic and require more planning and editing. Some of the topics this week. Tomorrow we're going to look at what I consider two indisputable arguments that Muhammad was a false prophet. I'm not talking about two pieces of evidence. I'm talking about two irrefutable, slam dunk, leave Islam or throw logic out the window proofs. Then we're going to have a fairly lengthy but thorough look at the question, was Muhammad a pedophile? I actually have several videos I want to make in coming weeks responding to various Muslim defenses of Muhammad's relationship with Aisha, but I wanted one thorough introduction to the issue. After that, it's my personal favorite, Paul versus Muhammad. I've been putting this one together for years. Four or five years ago, I was having lunch with my friend Murad, and he said that whenever he shows his Muslim friends that Muhammad contradicts Jesus, the Muslims blame Paul for corrupting Jesus' message. And he asked me how to respond to them. I said, well, just show them that Paul was more reliable than Muhammad. If Paul was more reliable than Muhammad, it doesn't make much sense to blame Paul when Muhammad's claims don't line up with Jesus' claims. And I gave him three reasons Paul is more reliable than Muhammad. Then he asked if I could make a video about those three reasons so that he could share it with Muslims. I said I would. But when I started sketching out a video, I thought of two more reasons Paul is more reliable than Muhammad. Then, as I was preparing that video, I thought of two more reasons. So then it was going to be seven reasons Paul is more reliable than Muhammad. The problem was I thought of another reason. But if you're going to do eight, you obviously have to do 10. So I came up with a list of 10. Then I thought of an extra reason. But if you've got 11, you have to do 12. So I planned for 12, then thought of another reason. Long story short, I now have 25 reasons Paul is more reliable than Muhammad, and I need to keep my mind completely blank and record this before I think of something else, because if I have 26, I'll need to go all the way to 30, and this video will never get recorded, because I'll just keep adding to it. So this one's going to be a nightmare to record and edit, but I'll finally take a crack at it this week. Then we'll have a full response to the common Muslim question, where did Jesus say, I am God, worship me? Then, for those of you who've been asking about the Scooby-Doo clips I was talking about a few months ago, we'll have Scooby-Doo and the case of the silly skeptic. After that, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to record a PowerPoint presentation giving one of my favorite arguments, and I'm going to upload not just the video, but also the PowerPoint slides, so that anyone who wants to give the presentation can download the slides and then give the same presentation to a Sunday school class or an apologetics group or whatever. And if I get through all of those, I've got several more topics to pick from to finish off the week. We'll see how all of this goes. See you tomorrow.